on today's episode, delicious oil-free oat pancakes. This is the perfect breakfast to start each day. Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. I'm Lex. We are a mostly whole food vegan cooking show. We do some product reviews. Sometimes there's episodes with Tim, uh, baking with Tim, sprouting with Tim, fermenting with Tim. If you like what you hear so far, please hit that like button. Show us some love. And please think about subscribing and becoming part of the Plant Based Ads family. We do have a Patreon page set up. Patreons are our members that work with us with our monthly financial support that help us get the plant-based message out uh, to the public. If you've ever thought you saw the show and you wanted to contribute or help out somehow, that's the way to do it. There'll be a link to the Patreon page right below the video in the description, and you can join that and get started on helping us out. So Lex is with me today. We're going to uh, make some pancakes, and Lex has his own gaming channel where... I do? Yes. Oh yeah, I do, right? Gaming, gaming with Lex, where him and I play games together. He actually does the playing, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I just do the commentating, yeah, He's right? kind of too old. I mean, uh, his eyesight's a little bit better. Yeah, so, so I, don't, I don't play the games, but I'll be like, is this what I spent 59 bucks on? So that's kind of how that goes, but it's a lot of fun, and sometimes we do up to like three videos a week, right? We should call it Waste Joey's Money Channel. Well, that's basically what it is. So I put a link below the in the video description uh, for if you want to check out his channel. We'd love if you subscribe. Maybe watch some of the videos. It's just him and I having a lot of fun gaming, right? Woo! Recently, my sister April was visiting, and uh, she has a channel called Mediterranean Maiden. She does a Mediterranean diet. And we did a video together, Overnight Oats Five Ways. It was a lot of fun. We absolutely enjoyed it. I'll put a link below this video in the description so you can check out the video. We would really love it if you uh, checked out her video and subscribed to her channel. She's just getting started. Uh, she's got a lot of stuff to come. It's all going to be about, uh, you know, what 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 she eats, what makeup she uses. I don't know women's stuff. I don't know any of that stuff. Her Mediterranean diet, I don't know. Are you, uh, are you sure you don't know what makeup? You know? No, I, I don't know anything about makeup. I'm sorry. Do I, no. Listen, I wake up like this. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like he got this nice... Yeah, yeah. But I, someone once said to me, listen, how do you get your head that shiny? I'm like, this is how I wake up. I mean, how do I get it this shiny? That's what it looks like, right? <laughs> If you're joining us for the 21 day 50-50 uh, challenges, we're right in the middle of our June 21 day challenge. On the challenges we do a 50-50 plate, one side uh, all whole food starches, the other side uh, whole food non-starches, and we do that for 21 days every meal. Uh, we cheer each other on. Most of it's happening in the Facebook group. There's a link to the Facebook group uh, below the video. There's a picture right here so you can see uh, to, so you get the right group when you join. It's like 8,000 people in that group. Like it is at, it's not even a year old yet. It'll be a year old July 7th or something. It's crazy out of control, but it's a lot of encouraging people cheering each other on doing the slot solution, right? Below the video, you'll see the links for uh, the t-shirts and the merch that we're offering. That apron actually is not in the, that merch Aww. site. If you, so that brings up a good point. Uh, if you're interested in the apron, that's our Plant Based Dad's apron. There's a link below the video in the description specifically for that apron. That's through another company because the, the company we use for the t-shirts, their aprons are horrible. Um, but the t-shirts are, are below. You can just click on the little pictures. There's a bunch of them. It shows like five of them down there. Great Father's Day gift. Um, so if you're interested in buying something for someone uh, to support the show, that's where you can do it. Do you see the card back there? My mom just sent this in the mail. I just got it today. Uh, it was a Happy Father's Day card. I know Father's Day is probably a week and a half away, but that was very nice for her. So thank you, Mom. We love you very much. And uh, I'm going to do a video soon about her visit. It was really life-changing for both of us. So I'm pretty excited to do that. Listen, am I keeping you up? Uh, you got somewhere to be? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a widow, yeah. All right. Well, everyone else is probably yawning too. So <laughs> let's talk about today's show. Today, we're going to be making Starch Solution Friendly Pancakes, right? Yeah. It's a, a Forks Over Knives recipe, and uh, we're just going to make that. Um, you you love pancakes, right? Yeah. But you like a different kind of pancake. Yeah. What are your favorite pancakes? I like uh, sour cream pancakes, the uh, double chocolate chip pancakes, All right, so the let's... IHOP pancakes. Okay, you know? IHOP. Okay, yeah, I've been IHOP in a long time. <laughs> yes. So, hey, you would like this tall when you have, used to get those IHOP pancakes with the smile on them, the whipped cream. So, he loves the sour cream pancakes. We're not making those, but we do have a video where you and I made those, right? Uh, I'll put a link right here to that video. And that was a fun video. That was years ago before we did the starch solution. We're going to make a sour cream free version uh, of those pancakes today. Ready to get started? Let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, Lex, so tell me what's first. First, we need a mixing bowl. We got the bowl. I think we're good there. What's next? One cup of smelt flour. 
Smelt. <laughs> Smelt flour. We're using one cup of ground wheat flour, stone ground wheat flour. We get this at Costco, it's in the 10 pound bag. Um, so that's where we use. So one cup of that, right? Yeah, I gotta get just the right mm -hmm. amount here. All right, so one cup of this flour right here, right? This is the stone ground wheat flour. What's next? One cup of oat flour. So I just took some oats and put it in the Vitamix and ground it up uh, to give me the oat flour. I don't buy oat flour, right? I mm -hmm. buy oats in bulk and I just make my own flour. You got it? There you go. All right, that's our oat flour. All right. What's next? One third of a cup of rolled oats. <laughs> so we're also adding one third of a cup of oats without mm -hmm. being ground into flour. So we're gonna dump that in. All right, what's next? Every time I've dumped them, you're looking like you're surprised. Ooh, look at that. Like, what's that about? I don't know what they are. <laughs> you don't know what the oats are? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm really scared. All right, next. <laughs> two, two tablespoons of chia seeds. Oh. Two tablespoons of chia seeds. Throw that in. I just get this bag at Costco. It's like five bucks for the whole bag, and it's a really good value. Five bucks? And it's organic. You scam that. The chia seeds kind of hold it together when they get wet. The tablespoon or no, like a teaspoon? Those are tablespoons. Okay. Alright, so two tablespoons of chia seeds. So what's next? One tablespoon of baking powder. Alright, one tablespoon of baking powder. That seems like a lot of baking powder, but there aren't Calorie zero on this thing? Dang. No, there's no zero. There's it's, no zero It's a calorie. zero. Well, for this, but not for the whole thing. Oh. Okay, so one tablespoon of baking powder, right? Yeah. Alright, what's next? Um, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Alright, a teaspoon of cinnamon right here. Cinnamon We're using challenge. this uh, Ceylon cinnamon here. Uh, let's see. Oh, here. Did you say a cinnamon challenge? Yeah. What's that about? There's something like. I mean, There's a something, challenge on cinnamon. It's something like in the 2019, where like I don't remember. Like you try and take a whole uh, one of those of cinnamon and eat it and something. Like, Why would someone do that? I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't understand <laughs> YouTube, TikTok. That's why. I don't understand TikTok or any of that stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. What's next for the dry ingredients? A pinch of salt. All right, so which can I add? You can leave the salt out. I really feel like it adds flavor to it, so I'm just gonna put it. We gotta there. speak like chefs oh. to do this. How do chefs speak? All right, y'all. No. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> A chef in what country? All right, y'all. No. Okay. okay. Listen, before we offend any chefs out there, <laughs> let's just cut it. All right, is that all the dry ingredients? That's all the dry ingredients. All right, so we're just gonna whisk this up to get all the dry ingredients combined. Oh, you want me to be like a fun time? You want me to be like your cheerleader to help you give you motivation? Do you want to give me motivation? Go right yeah. ahead. Give me an L. Give me. An L. How do you? Spell You're spelling out your own name. How does that give me motivation? <laughs> no. Yeah, I think I don't. I don't think you understand how this works. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. 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 Ready? I, I got it. Never mind. All right. So we're good here. Yeah. Wait. It's what's next? One tablespoon of vanilla. Okay. First of all, this is a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, well, Tables. Yeah, there is a difference. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a tablespoon is like two, like three, and like two and a half teaspoons. Yeah. Right. Do you guys think that he would be good with one of those mustaches? <laughs> like Tim has? No, no, like one that goes like yo da da. Like, like a handle, like, like, Jim, a... like Jim Carrey in oh, the song. Oh, Doctor Dubrovnik. Yeah. Yeah, like uh -huh. one of those... facial hair just makes my face itch. I, mean, I can't. I... All right, <laughs> what's next? Two cups of unflavored plant milk. All right, so we're using uh, unflavored plant milk. We're using Planet Oak. I like this because it's only 1.5 grams of fat and it doesn't have any oil in it. So that's kind of my preferred choice for the, for the it has, milk. It has oats in it. Made, it's made from oats, yeah. Some of the oat milk is just as fat as almond milk. This one is not, but it's only 1.0 grams of fat. Um, and you could get uh, Oakley or something that has a low fat one, but um, it's so yellowy, like clear, like I just, I can't. So is it one cup? Uh, two cups. Two cups, right. So two cups of oat milk. Until if there's no hole in the bowl or something. There's no hole in the bowl, it's glass. All right, what's next? One ripe spot, one, one banana. One ripe spotted banana. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just take a banana. I've been, I've been holding this banana for this episode, uh, not eating it because it's spotted and it's the one I need. And he loves bananas. And I love bananas. You like bananas when you, you say when you eat them, like you do like them, but when you eat them, you have a problem. Hey, what for is some it? reason, when I eat them, they, it grapes, bananas, it makes my ears tingle. I think like I'm allergic to something or something. Yeah, so he eats banana or grapes and it makes his ears tingle. I don't know what that means or why that happens. If you know, leave a comment below in the comments and let me know if you have any experience with that. I, I don't know, I don't get it. I'm just gonna mash this banana up so when we mix it up, it, it combines evenly and I don't have to like throw it in the blender or something like that. All right, so we've got the banana here. We're just gonna throw that in the mixing bowl here. All right, I'm guessing what's next? Is there anything else? Mix them together. So now we're just starting to combine, right? Well, we're probably gonna need like a spoon to mix these. 
I'll do some emotional support. It's that YMCA. Da, 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 YMCA. How, how is that supporting me emotionally? <laughs> like, I don't understand what that means. I don't get it. So, how did uh, ninth grade go for you? You're on summer vacation, right? Well, um, I'm not in summer school, so good. How were your grades? Actually, you did really, really well, right? Some. You were home the whole year. You did not go to school, right? I mean... Right? And you got mostly A's and B's, right? Like... Like, I really tried hard in school, you know? And I couldn't be prouder if they were based on real grades. They, right? they were. What do you mean? I tried really hard and the teachers even said they loved me. Listen, I was a substitute teacher for a while this year and I got to deal with Zoom students. It's not real, let me tell you. Even, we just shut off the camera. We're like, we don't have time for this. We'll just, the, we'll just give them an A for the day. Even the, te the teachers say that they love me being in their class and they enjoy me. And you're like, did I even take that class? Yeah. All right, so we're stirring this up till it gets to be a nice consistency. It doesn't have to be really like thin, right? Um, it just needs to be blended. There'll be a little uh, you know, textury in the pan and that's okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so now we're mixed up and I think we're ready to get the, uh, up the skillet turned on and start cooking, right? One fourth cup into hot stew. All right, let's get that ready and we'll get started. All right, so we're ready to get started cooking these. You may need to spray your pan, spray um, your pan with uh, some some spray uh, oil. If you need to do that, spray it on a paper towel and then wipe it all on and just kind of wipe it off. So it kind of puts a thin coat. I'm not going to do that. We'll see how it goes. We're just going to put a quarter of a cup of the pancake mixture right into the pan. I've got the pan on uh, medium, like low, medium, medium. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to give it a, like a minute or two. Uh, until I see the edges uh, starting to form and bubbles popping. All right, so we're flipping that. It looks pretty good. I would say it's a little bit overdone. I think the grill might be a little bit too hot, so I'm gonna have to turn it down a little bit here. All right, check, flip this maybe. That's yeah, good. Like it's ready, and you can see here that is a kind of a perfect pancake, right? You want me to get a plate? Yeah, can you get a plate right here? All right, so let's get that one. All right, let's do the next one. So that's pretty good. I didn't use any oil in here. Uh, I didn't use any spray oil. So I've got the scan pan. I'll put a link to that in the, in, hang on. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video, the one I'm using. It's like a hundred bucks. It was not cheap, but it's the one, it's the one Mary McDougal uses and recommends, which is why I got it. Dr. McDougal, Dr. McDougal's wife. Is that just an idea who she is? Well, to those of us who are watching the video, she's a very important figure, yeah. Now that's perfect right there. These are cooking very, very fast. And that is the perfect color right there. I feel like these are, uh, like the, the pan's just too hot because they're cooking so fast. And you can see here, it's both sides are nicely done. This pancake is ready to go. That's like the perfect color right there. Aren't we supposed to make a test pancake? And that, I was gonna say that next. You kind of have to get a, make a test pancake first in order to really get the temperature right. I think that first pancake was kind of our test pancake, but usually we make a small test pancake, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, the last time you and I did a pancake video, you were like this big. No, it, no, that's not true. It was because I... It last, is true. No, the last time we did a pancake video, I didn't have braces on, I don't think. Yeah, you didn't have like this facial hair growing all Oh yeah, hair. guys, you should see, I have like this yeah. beard Listen, growing in. Even if we zoomed in, I don't know if we could see that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, you like, feel it, come on, feel it. Yeah. It's, listen, it's very impressive. Plus I got these muscles, you know. Which way to the beach, right? Is it that way? Or is it that yeah. way? It's Arizona, there is no beach. All right, these are ready to go. That one's ready to go. That I'm flipping that one, that looks perfect. That looks so I think we kind of have the temperature correct on the grill now. The coloring is really nice. These are absolutely beautiful pancakes. I mean, they, they're amazing. For oat pancakes, they're, they're fantastic. All right, you can see here, this one's ready to go. And we're just gonna continue on with the rest of these. And you can see here that we got 12 beautiful looking pancakes out of this. Let's go eat. All right, so yeah, we got 12 pancakes out of this, right? Um, they came out absolutely beautiful. Go ahead and grab one. It's a little hot, but that's okay, right? And I got a little syrup here, so let's give this a taste test, right? Kind of throw your food around before you eat it, right? Do you want any, well, I'm gonna get, take some maple syrup. Do you want any maple syrup? syrup? Mine, yeah. All right. Syrup is like everything. I mean, it kind of is. Who wants dry pancakes, right? <laughs> you pancakes without syrup? Like, you're going over. Uh, I know, I know. Who's that? All right, so let's give this a taste test and see what it tastes like. I mean, I know these are good, we've had it before, so. I just, I just love pancakes, it's a perfect breakfast food. It'd be nice with some fruit on it too. Wow. Are you gonna be okay? No. What's your thoughts on it? Good. <laughs>
I'm still your wife. <laughs> you just like sour cream pancakes, don't you? <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so amazing, uh, starch solution friendly uh, oat pancakes, right? Amazing. Amazing, yes. That's our show for today. <laughs> Please hit that like button, show us some love. What's not to like? If you haven't checked out our uh, other uh, channel with Gaming with Lex, uh, the DIY channel, we have DIY Project Case, guys. And don't forget to check out Le uh, April's channel, Mediterranean Maiden where I do that video with her with the uh, Overnight Oats 5 Ways. Check out mine first. Gaming with Lex. There'll be a link in the description below the video. <laughs> All right, so don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on pancakes. I absolutely love them. This is a great recipe for the stock solution. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Bye-bye.